What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equal Eye Espresso and welcome back to another Advanced Warfare video here today on my channel. Today, we're going to be continuing what we did yesterday, showcasing some more micro DLC. Now, yesterday we only saw a little bit of what we actually got, those being four weapon camos in Advanced Warfare, but on top of that, we also got 18 individual exosuit camos. So today what we're going to be doing is taking a look at those, some of those you could have gotten as a premium personalization pack, so it included that, as well as the actual weapon camos but some of them were actually individual so without further ado let's get right into it now like I said there are 18 individual exosuit camos available for download what those include are the ones that correlate with the weapon camos four of those four exosuit exclusive camos and then 10 nationality camos now while on that subject I will say that I probably wouldn't necessarily recommend buying them especially if you decide to get all of them maybe if you get one and two here and there but I'll together I don't see it being worth the $20 that you'd spend on all 10 of them personally I didn't even buy any of them they're camos that we've seen previously before and I did them in previous games I bought them and I never even touched them so you're gonna see some images of them here in the video but I'm not actually gonna show you any in-game footage of me looking at it in say a custom menu but with that being said let's get right into it let's start out with the DLC that came with the weapons if you got the premium personalization packs here today if you did actually get that then you get the camos that we covered last video here on the channel you will get that in addition to the exosuit so it's just kind of like a bundled package but let's start off in the same order first off nanotech it looks really cool just like I was saying with the weapon just like the weapons are these are also animated all four of them so there is definitely some cool features here with that it gives you that checkered nano pattern again that you got in your weapon but it's a little bit more apparent I guess you could say in the looks of it because well there's not too much other than the exosuit going on in that specific area when you're looking at a weapon there's so much more you can focus on but the exosuit mainly focusing on your character that's pretty much all you're gonna be seeing now moving along we have magma next here this one it's not necessarily my personal favorite in this I like the weapon camo a lot better than the actual camo for the exosuit but it still does look very cool nonetheless now my personal problem with this is that if you're playing a stealthier game mode maybe like search and destroy you're gonna be spotted you're gonna be spotted by the bright colors on your back across the map especially if it's something where you can kind of get away with not being seen but with this you're definitely going to at least in my opinion that's how it worked with a couple of the camos in black ops 2 whenever we had brighter animated camos as well so this one kind of takes me back to that moving along we've got creature this one again similar to what magma does not necessarily in pointing you out but it just doesn't necessarily translate over as well at least in my opinion you guys could think completely differently on this it's got a scalier texture which is a nice use of that texture actually if I may add that in there but it looks a little bit more rough compared compared to some of the other exosuits that we've seen in the game, and it's a nice little change up here. Now, moving along into the last one associated with the weapon camos, the lightning camo looks absolutely awesome, I think, on the exosuits here. It's one of the ones that I think plays to my personal preference here, in which it's not too three-dimensional, but it adds a layer of dimensionality with the animation that changes it up from the standard exosuit camos. Overall, I think it looks really good in terms of how it looks on the character models, as well as if reverse back to what we talked about earlier about being spotted out across the map I don't think it's gonna do you too much harm there overall they look pretty good the ones associated with the weapons that is I think that if you do in fact buy the premium personalization packs you will get your money's worth I think you can absolutely use every single one of those that comes with it every single piece of it the reticles the weapons the exosuit camos and the calling cards they all look really awesome now moving along into the exosuit only DLC these ones look absolutely incredible Incredible. We're gonna start out with the steampunk exo. This one is my absolute favorite of them It's got the hardcore mechanical feel to it all while just keeping a level of I guess Elegance in it I guess you can say a nice iteration of what the steampunk feel would be in advanced warfare This one doesn't spot you out. It doesn't get you seen across the map It keeps a grungy feel to it like you're just going in getting work done 
and it looks absolutely awesome in the process. The Brong Exo, keeping an old timeish Japanese Imperial feel to it, bringing the dragon into your actual exosuit. This one looks really cool. Reminds me a lot of the Koi camo from Call of Duty Ghosts, and it has a nice use of just ambient colors and brings in a really nice feel to it, all while not being too flashy. That's what I like to see in a lot of these camos. They can be really nice, but not too over the top. So this one I think does a really good job at balancing that. Next up, we got the Panda Exo, which is just looks really cool. I really like the use of the color here, the green color scheme, as well as the devilish looking panda looks absolutely awesome. Again, this one mirroring some of the actual color schemes that we've seen in previous microtransaction DLCs. This one looks really cool, probably one of my favorites. I honestly can't pinpoint though of these four that we're talking about EXO only. They all look absolutely incredible. Now our last one of these four, specifically only for the exosuits, is the Hot Rod, and this is the actual only one that has a gloss finish to it. This is the only one that you're gonna see some sort of textures bouncing off of it, such as lighting and all that kind of stuff, but this one looks really cool. It brings exactly what the name has to offer here. The Hot Rod effect to it, the shiny car presence, all while making your character look extremely awesome. Now just again touching base with the final pieces of all the DLC available with the exosuits. The nationality camos are actually available. There are 10 of them, the USA, the Canada, the Netherlands, the Germany, the France, the Italy, the Japan, the Australia, the UK, and the Spain exosuits. They're all available for download currently all will run you $1.99 each. So in terms of when it actually comes to which ones you should purchase, well, I would honestly say you could probably stay away from the nationality camos, but if you're one of the people that really wanna support one of those countries, by all means, I'm not saying you don't have to buy it, but the other eight that are available, I just do think are a personally a better buy. And if you do like personalization a lot and want the actual weapon camos, go for the premium personalization packs that come with the weapon camos, the reticles, the calling card, as well as the exosuits for the four that it's available. And then the actual just premium exo custom packs go for those if you want to buy them so that's all for this showcase ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching hopefully i helped you guys out here whether or not you want to buy them or not maybe i swung your opinion one way or the other that's my main goal of doing these showing them off to you guys and then you can ultimately decide if it's worth your money so that's been my time ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching if you did like the video be sure to leave a like rating down below any shares to your facebook twitter and or myspace if you're og like that always greatly appreciated if you're new here be sure to subscribe to the best of call of duty Advanced Warfare content, any new news and fish, you guys know exactly to find out right here on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Vinicola Espresso. As always, I hope you guys have a great day. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace.